morning guys so this morning i'm going to take you through a lower body uh, resistance routine we're going to mainly use um, some resistance bands and we'll do some dumbbells as well so i've started doing this since last week really um obviously since we weren't allowed to go to the gym anymore uh, type of training that i'm not really used before not really used bands and that kind of thing but i'm already really seeing it's actually because it's a completely new stimulus because it's something i've not really done before I'm really feeling it and I'm feeling the muscles working in ways that probably not felt them work for, for a really long time. So it's really good. I'm already kind of thinking, you know what, even when we can get back into the gym, I'll probably carry on to use some of this stuff. Cool. So when it comes to sets and reps and that kind of thing, uh, because when you're using bands, we're really trying to focus on tension. I don't want to just focus on numbers, focus on oh, just eight reps, 10 reps, 12 reps. So I'm going to actually do the exercises for time which again is something that I wouldn't have really used to do in a gym. So like, well, I might do two sets of 90 seconds of an exercise as opposed to two sets of 12 reps or two sets of 15 reps. Um, I'm gonna go through each exercise one by one. I'm not gonna show you all the sets and all the reps that I do, but I'm gonna give you a quick demonstration of the exercise and explain why I'm doing it and the benefits of doing that exercise. Cool. Right, so the first exercise I'm gonna do is a banded standing hamstring curl couple of reasons for this whenever i train legs i always like to do an isolation exercise first basically it's going to warm the knee joint up really nicely get the synovial fluid into the knee so your your following exercise will feel good um and secondly you can get the muscle really nice and short so because it's fresh because you, it's, it's untrained you can really really squeeze that muscle at the top of the movement and get it nice and short and contracted um also especially because we're using bands it's probably a good idea to do some what you could call pre-exhaustion exercises first so that's like your, your what would typically be your leg extensions and your leg curls before you move into uh, squats and lunges and that's that kind of thing Right, so it's, it's a lot harder than it looks, honestly. Um, cool. So now we're going to move into our first compound exercise. So I'm going to do a heel elevated dumbbell squat. Um, heels are going to be elevated a little bit because it's going to really allow us to focus on the quads. Um, dumbbells I'm going to use are not going to be very heavy. They're like 15 kilos each, I think. Uh, so the key with that is we're going to really, really slow down the movement, keep it really under control keep tension on the muscle the whole time we're gonna have a little pause at the bottom as well and again we're going to do this exercise for 90 seconds as opposed to doing it for 10 reps or 12 reps Right, so now we're gonna do a banded RDL, so remaining in deadlift. This is gonna be our main compound exercise for the glutes and the hamstrings. Again, we're gonna go really nice and slow, really, really focus on squeezing those muscles. And when we're fully extended, when we're at the top of the movement, we're standing nice and tall, we're really, really, really gonna squeeze those glutes. Right, so for the final lower body exercise, I'm going to do a banded Bulgarian split squat. So we're also going to work each leg separately. And if you have got any weaknesses on, on either leg, that's going to be great to, to try and strengthen that up and bring it up to, to match your other leg.
Right, so give those exercises a go. Let me know how you get on. Honestly, so much, so much harder than it looks. Um, if you haven't got any bands and you're interested in getting some, give me a shout and I can just send you a couple of links on, on Amazon and that kind of thing. Um, I think I paid, I think it's about £40 for mine, but you can get them between like £30 and £50. Um, and you know, especially while this situation goes on, really, really great option to to allow you to do some of the exercise that you're used to doing in the gym, slightly differently, different stimulus, but you're still getting the same effect really. Right, so I always like to finish my uh, lower body sessions just with a couple of bicep exercises. Um, so first of all, I'm gonna do standing bicep curl with the, with the bands, and I'm gonna do an overhead curl. Um, so I'm gonna show you both of them now. 